was Sunday here at Dalriada Fest, uh, just heading down to see the guys at Celtic Smoke. Um, having a look around, this is actually my first time here, first time vlogging in public as well, so it's a little bit nervous, everybody giving me funny looks. So we're going to go down, this is the American round, so it's the turn-ins today. Um, so we're going to see what the guys are putting out, don't want to annoy them too much. But uh, we'll show you about the grounds a little bit. and. Uh, show you some footage of the barbecue competition and what teams are there. Okay. Walk up and down the teams. Uh, again, it's very noisy here. There's guys announcing, and uh, there's a blacksmith beside me by the looks of it. But there's smoking Yankees are in here. Uh, I've been down all the teams, had a bit of a taste. They've just done chicken and ribs. Uh, so I think pork snakes then. So um, hopefully, we'll get a bit of a, a taste of that as well. So the weather's been perfect today. Uh, Again, this is my first barbecue competition, uh, so I've never really experienced it, what it's like, but there's a great crowd starting to show up now. Uh, the festival's only been open for just under an hour, so uh, it's nice to see people rolling in, got a perfect day for it. I had a conversation with uh, Mark Higgins about whether I could actually do this myself or whether I'd enter it next year. Uh, I'm not sure. Seeing the quality of stuff these guys are putting out, I'm not sure I'm there yet. And uh, they're very exacting standards with the KCBS, so who knows, maybe next year we'll do it for a bit of fun. Be a good weekend, a good experience, but... So competition's done, uh, everybody's had their hand ins now, so we we'll take a walk around the rest of the festival. I haven't seen this, first time at Dalriada Festival too, so we we'll can see what else is out there. It's supposed to be some good food courts. Uh, team's all done really well, uh, tried some of their stuff. Uh, the Northern Irish team's done really good, Irish teams were great. Uh, then get speaking to everybody once the hand ins finished, the crowds to send it. And they were all asking questions and uh, trying the food, so didn't want to make a menace of myself with this thing. So, uh, gonna go and try some of the food courts. Need to find a wife and kids. They're here somewhere, but uh, then we're gonna go back four o'clock. The announcements on, so we'll go down, see how the guys did, uh, see who the winners were for the rounds, and who got the grand champion. Hopefully, one of the Irish teams. If they win it, they're heading to the Jack. So, good luck to all you guys. And uh, yeah, let's go see what the rest of the festival's about.
to do at the festival. I haven't really had time to do it all. That's creep here. <laughs> so everybody doesn't know this is Leon. Uh, it runs Barbecue Life Ireland. How are you lads? So if you're not in it, you should be in it. Even if you're not from Ireland, it's multinational. Yep, that so. works well for us all. Like. So and what, what's your aim with Barbecue Life Ireland? Um, just to spread the word of barbecuing all across Ireland like, and just grow the sport as such and just get everybody cooking outside basically more often than what we need to. You're a man after my own heart. That's the one. So did you find, Leon was actually judging at the course here today. So he's uh, fully qualified. So it was a good comp? It was good. The food was very good, very high standards. Um, that's basically all I can give away say. Too many like. secrets. <laughs> now we understand. We're not going to ask you too hard questions. So uh, they're going to announce the winner in about half an hour or so, or all the rounds. So I'm just down trying to catch up with some of the guys before they actually go over and find out the results. So uh, wish them all luck. They all done well. Tried some of their food. And it was all good. So uh, we're we'll going to try and catch up with some of them now. They've had a beer and chance to chill out. Now but time for me a beer. <laughs> so. Here are the guys from Smoking Yankees. Um, they say they were cooking today the and entered all the rounds. So, how did everything go? Yeah, it went not too bad. Yeah. We'll soon find out at 4 o'clock when we get the results. Yeah, only but, another uh, 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes. So. Yeah, yeah, but not too bad. We're happy with some things, not happy with others. But that's the way it goes. That's what everybody has said when you walk down here. They're their own worst critics. I've tasted quite a lot of it and it all tastes amazing. So. If I was judging it, it'd be hard to choose between them. But well, ours that's why be, he's ours would be the best, James. Ah, uh, theirs would be the best. Yeah. You're That's why next time you have to be a judge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> judge, I can't, I can't cook the stuff, let alone judge it. That'd be a bit cheeky. So, yeah. the guys done well. Um, everybody's just breaking down at the minute. So again, we're just waiting on the results coming in. But um, do you think we should get to the jack? Hope so. That's the hope. We've ever crossed. Ever crossed. <laughs> I see, see, they're all laughing now, but they're all nervous. Yeah, they are. I guarantee it. Nervous as hell. So, it was good to see the guys cooking and finally taste some of their food. Um, but we'll wait and see what the results are. And if we're going to the Jack, then we'll have another chat about it then. Well done, really guys. Well. Thank you. Cheers, thanks. First place in Salmon, folks, goes to Angus and Oink. First place in Lamb to go to Angus and Oink. First place steak goes to... Uncle Tony's Cockney Q. First place chicken goes to White Squirrel. First place in ribs winning 100 pound cash. A heat beads grill soaker thingy. And a bag of heat beads and that goes to White Squirrel. First place pork goes to buttrub.com. And first place biscuit goes to Angus and Oink. Coming in as reserve grand champion, Uncle Tony's Cockney Q. Number one in Celtic Smoke, first ever White Squirrel. Woo! I have to announce that the top placed Irish team is Smoke Troopers! So, the competition's finished. Uh, congratulations to everyone that entered it. Uh, there was some great food there at the weekend. Uh, I've been asked, I don't know how many times this weekend, if I would actually enter one of these things. Um, maybe next year, but I've only been walking around this competition today and I'm knackered. So the guys to cook all night and cook all day and uh, to keep up with it and still be in such high spirits is amazing. Uh, so it was my first barbecue competition even being at one so it was quite good to experience it all and see what goes into it the level of detail they have to go into with the food is amazing uh, it was great to see and low and slow competition stuff isn't something i cook that often but definitely after seeing what those guys can do i'm, I'm definitely interested to try it more so uh, we'll maybe try and get a bit of that done on the channel as well and um, just can track my progress so uh, congratulations to everyone that won, uh, or anybody that placed, he's all done great. It was good to get out of the backyard for once and actually uh, make a video out the bike. So we'll try and do that a bit more, get into uh, a few different uh, spots. But if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.